ASMR craft video. And in this episode, I'm going to be finishing up the last remaining details of my giant farm that I had worked on for season three. This was one of my big projects. Um, I'm trying to think. Yet yeah, this is probably the biggest and most time consuming. I mean, the snow globe was pretty intense as well, but that was very monotonous and just repetitive. Uh, it, it, this was at least more fun. Not that the snow globe wasn't fun, but yeah, just especially building the globe portion. Oh my gosh. Um, anyway, in this episode, start off the video by planting a bunch of trees around the border of my farm so you can see here it's pretty bare and empty right behind the wheat field and kind of along the border and I don't like that. There is a natural forest um, with oak and birch trees and behind it so I figured I would <laughs> you can see them you're gonna see them sporadically grow uh, in this time lapse because it is sped up I three times, and I'm also probably a little more than that, depending on how I did the replay mod, but anyway, since we have the natural birch and oak forest behind us, I figured that I would take advantage of that and just kind of push it forward, and I do go back a little bit into the forest like here and kind of make it more dense uh, in places that it's pretty bare. Yeah, this is the first portion of the video, and then after this is done, I transition into a giant tree. Well, I don't know if I would call it giant per se, but it's a fairly large tree. Uh, I'm starting to get this, like, appreciation for building custom trees. I never really did it before I would just, you know, plant a tree. I don't know, I just, I think one of the goals that I've always had in Minecraft was the mother tree. I have wanted to do that for years and years and years. I remember watching Good Times with Scar back in the day, and he had this giant tree that was like the center. You could see them all growing right there. Um, but this giant tree that was like the center of his tree farm, so I always attempted it. And now, real quick, okay, you're right there, you saw a bit of a jump, and that's because I totally forgot that I wasn't, I forgot to hit resume recording, so you missed me building the base of the trunk, but all I did was kind of build up, you know, in one spot, and then, and then you also see some very poor replay mod right there, but uh, clipping through the tree. I just built up and then I'm kind of finishing it off with different height variations to make it a little bit natural. But yeah, the good times with Scar, he, and he had his tree farm inside of a dome, I believe, and then a giant mother tree that he, I think he called it the mother tree in the center, which you could go in through the train system. It was like the center point and different levels and I just thought it was so cool. So I've always wanted to do one like that. I have tried of back in the day on console and stuff never got very far and I wasn't that great of a builder I'm not like saying I'm fantastic now but I'm much better than I was and then I really attempted it in season one of ASMR craft I actually attempted it in my own series uh, you know about two years ago at this point and all I got was this square trunk. It didn't look very good. I, th I didn't do any roots or anything because I had stopped, I think, to come on to ASMR Craft. Season 1, I attempted it for my shop. And the problem is I started so late into the season. And then season 2, I attempted it again. But it was going to be my base. And I ended up getting the roots in like the trunk, kind of, but I didn't, I just got like a very 
very cookie cutter thing. I never got too far with it. I watched a video and tried to follow the guy's, uh, you know, steps. Um, and I'm like not commentating on the video at all, but all I'm doing, I added the roots and now I'm going in with some detailing with spruce planks and trap doors just to kind of make it a little more nice. Uh, I never used to do this, but I, I'm, I'm growing, uh, oh, and some stairs every now and then, but I'm growing more of an appreciation for these little detailing effects. Um, but yeah, where was I at? Oh, I watched the video and I just didn't get very far. I had other stuff that I was doing in that season, but then by the end of season two, I was brought on to the staff team and for season two, spawn build. No. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Season 3 for the spawn build. I said, you know what? Since we're in creative and I'm going to be helping with the spawn build, I'm doing the mother tree. I'm going to commit to it because I have to. If I don't get that done and there's a half finished tree, that's not good. And I did. I got it done. I was pleased with it. But there were some things I wish I would have done a bit followed kind of the same video and just kind of went step by step of what he did. Um, changed up, I think, a little bit with the branches. I mean, when it comes to branches and leaves, you can't do it 100%. Um, and then this season, I guess I could give a bit of a spoiler. I already announced it on a Medic's podcast. I am doing another giant tree. This one is much bigger than last season's is a cherry blossom tree and it has made me want to rip my hair out but with the help of goose uh, after I got done with the branch and stuff and it wasn't looking too hot with the leaves it looks like I gotta clear my throat but I don't want to do it on the mic <laughs> softly it looked like the branches were really cool the problem is is it wasn't good for a cherry blossom and when I was trying to add the leaves it just didn't look right and it did not give off the cherry blossom effect so Goose came in and helped me with the um like I don't know the, the plug in the tools where you could just kind of create a sphere and make branches and kind of help me with the base to get the branches going and from there I saw the vision and I cut away the branches evened them out made them look more natural and so long story short, too late, I have a giant cherry blossom tree now at season four spawn, and I think it looks pretty good. I still want to make some adjustments, I think, and I want to get some people's opinions before I say it's 100%, but the whole point of that story was that I have grown an appreciation for custom trees. I love to do them. They're fun sizes like this that you're watching is a lot more fun because the bigger the scale the more work obviously with anything but it just when you get very big it just becomes <sighs> see i don't want to finish that sentence whatever when you get very big it becomes hard that's what she said ah uh -huh. But it does because you have to make, especially when you're doing roots, you have to just make sure everything kind of goes even and the roots got to be longer. It's just, it's fun, but more difficult. I couldn't imagine doing the cherry blossom tree that I did for season four in survival. F screw that. Um, but a size like this in the video is fun and pretty easy. I did rush it because... I think this was the last day the server was up and I asked Goose what time and I was like, okay, let me finish everything quick and I definitely wanted to add some more stuff here. I planned on having many more buildings and that wheat field in the back wasn't going to be as big or I don't even know if it was going to be there at all initially, but I just, I was running low on time and I wanted to fill it up so I put a lot of wheat in the background, which I think and then I thought, you know what, what better way to take up space than just slab a giant natural custom tree right here. So that's what I did. At this point, we're pretty much done. I'm just working on the branches and the leaves of it to try to make it look natural. I mean, it's not the most perfect tree, definitely. I think one thing I'm noticing. 
noticing is I think I made the base a little too thick. Maybe it'll look better. I forget once I get the top and everything done, but you know, again, this was rushed and I just wanted to take up space here. The plan was to have a gigantic barn right here to be the centerpiece of this side of the farm when you cross the bridge, but there was no way that I was going to get it done in time. Maybe if I stayed up and worked on it like all day long and all night, but I just didn't want to do that. I think I was already really tired at this point, not getting much sleep the night before, if any. So yeah, this is what we were left with, but I do think the farm turned out pretty decent nonetheless. So uh, I, another video that will come out either later today or tomorrow sometime maybe will be a tour of the farm, the entire farm. Hopefully, I don't know, it depends on where I was sitting when I was recording. If it rendered out far, because you can see right now it doesn't render to the wheat, which is unfortunate, so I don't know. It might not be able to be perfect, but hopefully it's good enough. All right, there was probably a cut and an awkward sound because I forgot to do unplug my fridge, but anyway, yeah, so the door of the farm, I'll be able to get the main part, but I think the wheat, which it's just a giant wheat farm, you're not missing much, you saw it in this video, but yeah, I got, I got some stuff built over here, you see the windmill and the silo in the back, and then this tree, of course, and then to wrap it up, what I'm gonna do, you'll see here, is go around and just bone meal the rest of the grass to, f to fill up some space, make it look a bit more natural with grass variations and flowers. But yeah, I just thought I didn't want to leave this bare. I wanted to put something here. Again, the plan was for to be for it to be a giant barn. Just didn't have the time. And you can see pillagers in the back and are waiting for me to get down. It's a good thing I was finishing up the video when I was. Um, but yeah, at this point, we're pretty much done. Just doing one last pan around of the tree. And again, it's not perfect. I would have made it a little bit less thick, maybe. But I think with the top kind of balancing it out, it looks pretty decent. I could see the back there. It might have, should have been chopped down a bit. I just look at it one trunk to the root and it's a little bit too tall and I don't like, but overall I'm pleased with it. So that is it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.